वेलकम टू लीडर आई एस एंड यशस इंस्टीट्यूट नवी मुंबई महाराष्ट्र टुडे दिस ऑडियो वीडियो बुक वी ऑल गोइंग टू लिसन लर्न स्टेट बोर्ड ऑफ महाराष्ट्र स्टैंडर्ड टेन सब्जेक्ट हिस्ट्री एंड पॉलिटिकल साइंस चैप्टर नंबर फोर हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडियन आर्ट्स Dear listener, these are the audio books, the self-explanatory books. Let's begin. In these chapters, what we are going to learn: four point one, what is art? Four point two, Indian traditions of visual arts. Four point three, Indian traditions of performing arts. 4.4 art applied art and the professional opportunity so in a 4.1 what is art it is a natural human instinct to want to share his experience wisdom and also emotions when that instinct results in a beautiful creation it is acknowledged as a art the artist power of imagination sensibility the state of emotion and his skill are the crucial factors at the root of artistic creation visual arts and performing arts artistic creations are of the two types visual arts and performing arts the sanskrit term for the first type is the dhruka kala and for the second type lalita or angika kala many examples of prehistoric rock art have been discovered at many sites in the world it proves that the origin of visual arts is as old as the stone age man folk arts and classical arts there are the two distinct traditions of art folk art and classical art the folk art is a tradition that has continued from the prehistoric times the expression of folk art is a natural part of people's way of living hence its expression is spontaneous the folk art is created by collective participation of the members of the social group classical art on the other hand is expressed within an established frame of a consistent rules it needs a prolonged training to master any form of classical art style of art artists tend to have their own method of working it is known as the style of the artist when a style is adopted by many artists for a prolonged period of time it may become a tradition such tradition gets established as an art style various art style develop in every culture which are characteristic of a certain period and the region such style are helpful in studying art history 4.2 indian traditions of visual arts that is trika kala the art of painting and sculpting are the visual arts in box we are seeing the picture of maratha style of painting maratha painting is an example of art style the style known as a maratha painting began to develop in the later half of the 17th century ce this style consists of colored painting and they occur as a murals and also miniature use banishka murals of maratha style can be seen in the old wadas at places like vai penam and satara in maharashtra the maratha style was influenced by the rajput and the european style of painting the painting style help us in understanding the various things about the times
in which it was developed such as a lifestyle attire customs etc box clothes art of painting painting are the two dimensional for example sketches are the painting of nature objects and individuals they are done on various surfaces such as a rock walls papers canvas of different types and earthen pots the murals of the bodhi sattva at the ajanta cave is one of the finest example of the art painting the folk style of painting the rock painting dating to stone age have been discovered in many countries in india there are the rock painting styles in state of madhya pradesh uttar pradesh bihar uttarakhand karnataka andhra pradesh and telangana the rock painting in the caves at bimbetka are famous the bimbetka is a world heritage site rock painting usually depict the humans animal and geometric figures however the style of rock painting seems to be changing according to the cultural changes from stone ages to the beginning of agriculture the changes is visible in the depiction of flora and fauna or it may be evident in the style of portraying various figures and also in the colors that were used black red and white color they are used in the rock painting which were made from natural substances with the help of the rock painting we can understand the knowledge of the ancient people about their natural surrounding and also the way they exploited available natural resources the tradition of folk style of painting closely resembles the style of rock painting customs such as decorating the house wall and courtyards that is rangavali by drawing various figures and symbols or using the panels of painting to narrate the stories help us to develop the regional styles of folk painting in box do you know see the picture of varli painting the traditions of varli painting and the pingul or the chitrakati maharashtra are among the finest example of folk style of painting jivya somya mashe the artist in the thane district has played a great role in making the world varli style of painting very popular He has been honored with a number of national and international awards for his painting. In the year of 2011, was awarded the Padma Shri. Box Shri. In another box, it is interesting to know the tradition of Chitrakati is mentioned as a Mansolas book written by the Chalukya king Someshwara. in the 12th century ce it confirms the antiquity of these tradition the tradition of narrating the stories from ramayana or mahabharata with the help of the wooden puppet and painting is known as the chitrakati or the pingul traditions the chitrakati pictures are drawn on a paper and painted in a colors made from natural substances it takes 30 to 50 pictures to complete the narration of a single story these pictures are preserved very carefully and handed down from one generation to another the artist and the government are trying to preserve the tradition which is on the verge of extinct box clothes classical style of painting the ancient indian text have explained various aspect of art in great details there are the all together 64 arts mentioned in this text the art of painting is mentioned as a alekhyam or alekhya vidya 
Hindus. It is said to have the six main aspects, means Sadanga. The ancient Indian scholar studied these six aspects very minutely. They include Rupa Bheda, means different shapes and forms. Praman means proportionate depiction of various features of an image. Bhava expression that is Lavanya. Bhava means expression. Lavanya Yojana means aesthetics. Sadrushata means a resemblance to reality. Varnika Bhanga means color of composition. Agama text of various religious sect, Puranas and the Vastu Shastra ex explain the art of painting and sculpting in the context of temple architecture. Miniature painting in manuscript. The miniature painting in the early manuscript showed an influence of Persian style. The Deccan miniature style was developed under the patronage of the Deccan Sultanate during the reign of Akbara. The Mughal Imperial, the Mughal miniature style showing a blend of Indian and a Persian style was done. Western style of painting in the British period, Indian artists came under the influence of European style of painting. See the picture of Mughal miniature. An art school was established under the leadership of the James Wells, a Scottish artist in the times of Savai Madhura Peshwe, Shanivar Vada. He had done a portrait of Savai Madhavra and Nana Padavas. See the picture of Savai Madhavra and Nana Padavas. Gangaram Tambar, the Marathi artist, birth as it wells, deserves a special mention here. He had made a drawing of the rock cut caves at Peru. And Carly. Some of his drawings are preserved in the Yale centers of British art of Yale University. See the picture of Gangaram Tambar with his guru. Exact portrayal of the object of the painting is a characteristic of the European style. A number of renowned artists were trained in the JJ School of Art and Industry, which was established in 1857. Offering the courses in European style of painting, Pestonji, Romanji, and aluminium of the school made replicas of the Ajanta painting. Sculpture are the three-dimensional, such as images, statues, holes, and objects, the artistic embellishment. For creating the sculpture, either rock or metal, or clay is used. Rock sculptures are made by carving. Metal sculptures are made with the help of moulds and the clay sculptures are formed either directly with the hands or by using the moulds. See the picture of Ashoka Stambha. The entire temple of Kailasa at Averul is a unique monolithic sculpture carved out of a single rock. The lion capital of Ashoka pillar found at Sarna is a national emblem of India. Folk style of sculptural art. The sculptural art is also ancient as the art of painting dating back to stone ages. Carving tools out of stone can said to be the beginning of the sculptural art. The custom of making clay images for rituals has been prevalent in India since Harappan time. It has continued till today in many regions like Bihar, Kerala, Rajasthan, etc. The Ganesha idol, 
the mask of Gauri, the bull figure and maid for the festival of Bailpura, wooden memorials, Virgals means memorial stone. The decorated clue, the decorated clay, storage bins, etc. are a few examples of the folk tradition of sculptural arts. Classical style of sculptural arts. The Harappan sea, stone, and bronze statues tell us about the 5000 years old or even older tradition of the Indian tradition. Of sculptural art, it is said that the tradition of carving out the stone sculpture of a larger size began in the Mauryan period with the Ashoka period. The Sanchi Stupa was erected in the Emperor Ashoka time. However. The beautiful sculptural embellishment of the stupa are supposed to be the later additions. The sculptures at Baruha are the testimonies of the continuous development of sculptural art. Buddhism was spread far and wide in many countries outside India. The traditions of erecting Buddhist stupa began in those countries as well. The stupa at Baro Budu in Indonesia is the largest stupa in the world. It is built during the 8th to the 9th century CE. It was declared as a world heritage site in 1990. See the picture of Barhat. Boro Budu stupa. See the picture. Indian iconography. The Gandhara school of art came into being in the 2nd century BCE in Afghanistan and neighboring region. It had a Greek and Persian influence. The 1st to 3rd century CE, that is the Kushana's period, saw the rise of Mathura school of art. The Mathura school laid the foundation of Indian iconography. Iconography is a branch of knowledge that includes everything about making the images of God and gods. The Kushara kings made use of images of the various deities and their coins. During the period of Gupta Empire, the iconographic rules were formulated and the standards of sculptural art were set. The art of making bronze images were developed under the patronage of Chola king during 9th to the 13th century. Bronze idols of gods and the goddess like Shiva Parvati, Natraj, Lakshmi, Vishnu, etc. were made in this period. See the picture of Natraj. Architectures and Sculpture There are a number of rock cut caves in India. The tradition of rock cut caves originated in India in the 3rd century BCE. Technically, the entire composition of a rock cut cave represents a union of architecture and sculptural arts. It intrinses the interiors with its carved columns and images are excellent specimens sculptural arts. The painting on the walls and ceiling have survived in some of the caves till today. The rock cut caves at Ajanta and Verul in Maharashtra were declared as a world heritage in 1982. See the picture of Ajanta cave number 19. The temple architectures in India began to develop around 4th century CE during the Gupta period. The temples built at the beginning of the Gupta period had only Sanctum, Sanctara, Varga, and Varanda with the four columns. The temple architectures in India had reached its peak by the 8th century CE. This is, this is easily 
testified by the magnificent composition of the Kailas temple of Ray. See picture of Nagar style temple. By the medieval period, the various style of temple architectures had began had developed in India. The style of temple architectures are identified by the style of tower. The Nagar style of North India and the Dravid style of South India are the two principal styles of Indian temple architecture. A blend of these two styles is known as the Vesara. The Bhumija style seen in Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra has a close resemblance to the Nagara style from the structural viewpoint. In the Bhumija style, a series of miniature towers are arranged which become smaller towards the top. Hence, the tower appears to be continuously rising from the base of the temple to the top. See, picture of Dravid style Gopura. In a box, it is interesting to know the temples in Maharashtra built in 12th to 13th century are known as a The Hemadpanthi temples. The outer walls of the Hemadpanthi temples are built in a star shape. In the star shape plan, the outer walls of the temple has a zigzag design. This results into an interesting effect of alternating the light and shadow. The important characteristic of Hemadpanthi temple it is is it some astronomy. The walls are built without using any mortar by locking the stone by using the techniques of tenon and mortise joints. The Ambreshwar temple at Ambarnath near Mumbai, Gondeshwar temple at Sindar near Nashik, and Aundanagana temple in the Hinguli district are the few finest examples of a Madhapanti. Their plan is a starship. The Hemadpanthi temples are found at the several places in Maharashtra. Means Gondeshwar temple, Sinnar. See the picture. The Gondeshwar temple, box square. In the medieval period, under the patronage of Muslim Sultanate, the many styles of architecture such as Persian, Central Asian, Arabic and pre-Islamic Native Indian style were blended together. Creating the Islamic architectures of India, many beautiful buildings were created. The Qutub Minar at Mehruji near Delhi, Taj Mahal at Agra, Gol Gumbaz at Bijapur in Karnataka are the world famous example of the Islamic architectures of India. The construction of building of Qutub Minar started during the reign of Qutubuddin Ayyubha, 12th century and was completed in the reign of Altamash in 13th century. Qutub Minar is the highest minaret in the world. It is a 73 meter means 240 feet in the height. The Qutub Minar complex of building has been declared as a world heritage. See the picture of Qutub Minar. The Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan built the Taj Mahal in the memory of his queen Muntaj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is looked upon as a paramount example. See the picture of Taj Mahal. In the beauty of Islamic architectures in India, this world famous building has been declared as a world heritage by UNESCO. The Gol Gumbaz at Bijapur in Karnataka was built in the 17th century C. This grand building houses the burials of Muhammad Adil Shah of Bijapur. Inside the door, after 
which the building is named there is a round gallery even a slight whisper by person standing in this gallery can be heard everywhere and if somebody claps here its echo can be heard many times see the picture of gold gumbas during the reign the british period a new architectural style arose in india it is known as indo gothic architectural style building like churches the government offices residences of top officials railway stations were built in this style during the british period see the picture of chhatrapati shivaji maharaj terminal mumbai the building of chhatrapati shivaji maharaj railway terminus mumbai is the finest example of indo gothic architecture and it is world heritage site indian traditions of performing arts traditions of performing art folk arts India has independent and varied traditions of folk songs folk instrumental music folk dances folk theater which are characteristics of the every particular region there exist many rich traditions of performing arts folk arts maharashtra also they develop as an integral part of the religious festival and social life to name a few as example we may mention holi dance harappa dance dashavatara of kokan wada kirtan jagar gondal etc traditions of classical performing arts india has a rich heritage of classical performing arts too the text of natya shastra written by parahat muni Bharat Muni is supposed to be the earliest one discussing the music and theater. The nine boots means the nine rasas supposed to be fundamental in the presentation of Indian performing arts are Sri Nagar, Shringar means love, Asya, Vimba, Vinatsa means repulsion, Rudra. terrible karuna means bad be means heroic bhayana means fearful adbhut means wondrous and shanta is good friends we are from leader ideas and yashas institute nabi mumbai i said professor suhas sarva these are the audio video books self explanatory for the study indian people came into contact with the cultural tradition of other nations and that resulted into blending of many different streams in the presentation of indian performing arts enriching them over time as a result many style of presenting of classical vocal music instrumental music and dance came into existence various schools preserving those style were also created there are the two main branches of the indian classical music first hindi music and carnatic music similarly there are the two forms of it classical means shastriya and semi classical means upashastriya semi classical has included the many style of folk music in box see the pictures of do you know the ruler of bijapur ibrahim adil shah second wrote a text in dakkani urdu language entitled kitab navras the text is about the indian classical music it include the verses sir in the drupad style and enables the audience to experience the joy of excellent poetry this text is originally translated in marathi by the dr sayyad yaya ashil it is edited by the dr arun prabhune 
The translation of the verses printed on the cover of these texts read as follows. O Mother Saraswati, you are the divine light in the world and you are complete with all the qualities. If Ibrahim receives your grace, his blessing, the poetry of the Navras will become eternal. A beautiful blend of the three forms of music, vocal, instrumental and dance can be seen in a various Indian classical dance. Forms like Kathaka of the North India, Navni of Maharashtra, Odishi of Odisha, Bharatnatyam of Tamil Nadu and Kuchipudi of Andhra and Kathakali and Mohiniyattam and Kerala. See the pictures of Lavni Maharashtra. See the pictures of Kathakali Kerala. In India, in the post-independence period, the various festivals of music and dance are organized with a view to make it accessible to common people. Many people attain these festivals including Indian and foreigners alike. The Savai Gandharva festival of Pune is a famous one. Lately, we see an inclination towards experimenting and creating fusions of various music styles by trying to overcome the limitations imposed by tradition style of Pune. Pandit Uday Shankar is a prominent name among such artists who created a new style. He successfully created fusion of Indian classical dance and European opera. Also included the various forms of folk dance in his style. Thus, the scope of the presentation of Indian performing arts seems to be constantly expanding the same phenomena is apparent in the field of Indian art, musical or uh, Indian visual arts. 4.4 Art, Applied Art and Professional Opportunity Arts The art history is an independent branch of knowledge. The various opportunities of research are available in this. First, art historian can work in the field of journalism. Art market is an independent field. It calls for special expertise to assess the exact value of an art object or to ensure that it is a genuine. An expert with a deep understanding of an art history, art history is required for this task. Third, heritage management and cultural tourism are recently developed fields. In these fields, the students of an art can find many professional opportunities, museums and archives management. Library science and information technology, the archaeological research, Indology are some important fields in these regards. Applied Arts The visual and performing arts are primarily looked upon as a means of entertainment for people. The artist performs primarily with, the per with these purposes. However, there is a score to combine an artistic creation with a utility value to make it economically viable. Thus, an artistic creation with a utilitarian purpose called applied art. Industry and advertising. Interior design and production of ornamental objects. Art design of stage backdrops. Means nepatya. Art direction for film and television. Creating attractive layout of books. That means Calligraphy, production of greeting cards, invitation card, customized stationery, gift objects, etc. are the fields of applied arts. 
द फील्ड ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर फोटोग्राफी और ऑल्सो द पार्ट ऑफ अप्लाइड आर्ट्स नाउडेज स्टिल एंड एनिमेटेड ग्राफिक्स क्रिएटेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स आर यूज फॉर वेरियस पर्पजेस दिस इज ऑल्सो अप्लाइड आर्ट ऑर्नामेंट्स आर्टिस्टिक क्रिएशन ऑफ मेटल्स अर्दन पॉट्स विद अ कलरफुल डिजाइन ऑब्जेक्ट्स मेड फ्रॉम केन एंड बैम्बू ब्यूटिफुल क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट्स अट्रैक्टिव टेक्सटाइल्स एंड क्लॉदिंग एक्सेट्रा ऑल कैन बी लिस्टेड अंडर द अप्लाइड आर्ट्स एवरी फिल्म मैंशन अब रिक्वायर्स अ डिटेल प्लानिंग एंड मेटिकुलस मैनेजमेंट एट एवरी स्टेज ऑफ प्रोडक्शन it is essential to employ train and skill individual at every stage sum up the production process of artistic object have a history of certain traditions the development of each productive process has its own history hence the syllabi of training courses of art design include the history of various industrial and cultural traditions there are a few institution in india which offer technical and occupational training in the above mentioned fields among them national institute of design in ahmedabad gujarat is a world renowned institute this institute has introduced an outline course since 2015 in the next lesson we will learn about mass media and history that's all about this chapter dear listeners we are from leader ias and yashas institute of mumbai myself professor suhas sargar thanks for listening these are the self explanatory chapters video for the self study of student thanks